What's up, everyone? It's your boy. Today's video, I got some sad news for you guys. Pierre and Demian, uh, just, it's not good right now, man. It can't compete with these top decks. Like Virtual World and Zodiacs, they're so good, man. They're, they're, they're the new hot decks right now. They literally put a combined, like, for both decks together. Do you know how many negates they put up? Zero. Uh, that's insane. So, I got some bad news. But it ain't for us, baby! It's for every Virtual World player out there! If you play Virtual World, you, I got some bad news for you. Your time is up. Our time is now. Ow, you fucking table piece of shit. Pure and Demian absolutely destroys the new meta. So if you guys are ready for this video, smash the subscribe button. Because today's video, I'm going to showcase you guys Pure and Demian that destroys the new meta. We're back to the roots, baby, let's go. And in honor of this very joyous occasion of Pure and Demian coming back into the fold to destroy the meta, I am announcing officially Trip coaching, baby! Starting right now, I am offering one-on-one -on -one coaching, baby! Let's go! $30 for two hours of one-on-one -on -one coaching on Discord. Let's go! So if you guys want to learn how to play pendulums, like the pen god, sign up down below on PayPal. There's space for the first 10 people. After that, I will not be able to do it because, you know, pen god's busy destroying the meta and shit. So if you guys are ready for this video, smash the subscribe button, sign up with Pendulum Training down below, and let's get started on the video, boys. It's time to show the world, but Karen Demian is the best step. Let's go. Pendulum deck of all time. I stopped playing it for a while now. Uh, going for Pendulum Synchro. Let's go back to the basics, baby. Pure Turbo, baby. Let's go. So if you guys love what you see here, you guys gotta look at this, bro. Seven negates all day. If you guys aren't too familiar how to play Pendulums, just watch, boys. Watch. I'm not gonna talk about the combo because it's too good to talk about. Just look at it. There's too many negates to even talk about. There's too many negates to even properly explain. Uh, but yeah, just look at this. Uh, one thing I want to know right there, I'm going to pause it right there. And a lot of, one thing I want to know is that not enough Pendulum players are prioritizing Cross Sheep and Vortex. It literally gives you a free Vortex. Uh, let's look at some of the top decks in the game right now. Uh, Invoke the uh, dot 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 dogma decks, right? Well, Invoke ends on a Macabre, right? Whoa, one negate. Whoa, nice job, bro. Well, this free negate Cross Sheep, you are adding on to your already five negate board. So think of like a top deck like Invoked, which most people want to be able to play. Well, their best board is Macabre Pass, bro. So why don't you put up a sixth of their board? A sixth of your board is their board. So their best board is a Macabre. So why don't you get a free Vortex or free Mighty Master while you're at it? So make sure to prioritize the Cross Sheep because you will get a free Negate via the Cross Sheep. And then you get the Selene, Mighty Master pop the spell. And we're going to just show you a reflection. This is seven Negates. Vortex, Double Master, Jackal, Masquerina, Right Hand, and Reflection on the opponent's third. When you bounce back with Money Master, and you face a Spell Trap Negate deck, uh, this could also be six Spell Trap Negates if you really need to. Super cool, actually. See this? You just all you bounce back to Money Master, Selene summon it back, Masquerina into another Selene, and summon it out another Money Master. So this is a, a case in point, very simple comp tutorial uh, showcasing the power of Pure and Demian. If you guys want to see this deck in action. Moving forward on every single Patreon video, as I said in the beginning, will, I'll be adding a supplemental video on Patreon every single day that I post a YouTube video. So on this supplemental video, I'm going to post on Patreon that is uploaded right now. It's available right now. I will be posting different duels with Pure and Demian. So if you guys love Pure and Demian, on my Patreon, I have Pure and Demian duels. So go check it out right now. And Patreon is actually super cool that they now have a 15% off annual uh, membership. So go check it out. And I have a bunch of supplemental videos on Pure Endemian. Now I'm going to showcase you guys the deck profile for the updated uh, ban list and updated meta for what we need to know to absolutely destroy the meta with the best deck, Pure Endemian. Let's go. This is the deck profile, boys. Let's go. As clean and slick as ever. Let's go, look at that, Servant Triple Abductor. I've been testing Triple Reflection in this build. I tested so much. Uh, there's a lot more uh, duels than it's, like, there's a lot of thought that goes into this deck. It's not just random cards thrown together. I've been testing nonstop against the new meta, and this is what I've come up with is the best. I would love to play multiple Reflections, 
But at the end of the day, you need another card that holds a counter for it to be good. In the future, I will be doing Mythical Endymion, which takes use of Reflection even better, where you can play two or three Reflection in, in Mythical Endymion. And I actually think uh, with a good Mythical Endymion build, hint, hint, coming soon, uh, it, it's actually a pretty good card. But in a build like this, Reflection is not the best. Yeah, Sometimes it's a brick, to be honest. Uh, but it's good at one. Triple Ma Mighty Master, always one Jackal. This is a lot of things that... Uh, uh, if you look at this whole list right here and think of one thing you could take back, maybe you want to play two Jackal in case of desires. But you see, the thing is, if you manage your Jackal properly, and uh, even if you manage your Appaloosa to play through Nibiru, you can always play through Nibiru. Jackal it literally is a scale for Brick at the end of the day. Yes, it's fantastic on the field, but when you draw hands of double Jackal, double Master, and uh, right hand, then you're going to be like, oh, what the hell is this? But if that Jackal was, I don't know, let's say a Magician Souls, uh, to send the restage or something like that, or like the desires, then you're, you're well much better off. So I do highly recommend playing one Jackal. It could break you, but obviously one is mandatory. In the Mythical Endemian version, you can play two. Uh, time gets Triple Chrono, Triple Souls. I know it's not budget because of Magician Souls, but the whole point of, I would not play Pure Endemian like this uh, without re Souls and Restage. So you can always obviously play Pendulums without Souls, I'll be releasing a budget list in a few days. It's, of course you can play Pendulums without Magician Souls. You can play a budget version of Pendulums, but this version specifically is not budget. It actually is reliant on the Magician Souls. So I do like this a lot. I'll be also releasing the next few days. You guys gotta see the videos I have planned for you guys. It is absolutely out of this world. You guys will love it. I have a DDD Endymion with Where Art Thou to search Souls and Kepler. And it just so, so clean and consistent. I love it. Anyways, as for this, I cut Jester to two. I used to play three before. Uh, the weirdest hands are when you have like five extenders and not enough spell counters. Uh, the only hands you lose is when you don't have enough spells. So I opted to take out the third Jester Confit. I added in a Reasoning. Uh, some people the Reasoning misses, but actually a cool story is uh, you search out all your level sevens and you don't play level sixes. You only have one Jackal and a Chronograph. No one even thinks Chronograph exists anymore. If, if they look at Mythical Endymion list, they're going to call seven. We only play four, but you're going to take up one or two sevens before you activate Reasoning. So Reasoning is almost always going to hit. And a lot of the times you need the level one, man. Uh, Restage only loses when you don't hit a level one or level two. So now you have three, four, five, six, seven, uh, eight, nine, and then a pseudo 10, 11, and 12, 13, 14. So now you have 14 ways into a level 3 or under for restage to never be dead. The only time you really lose is when restage is not available. So like when you draw a non-level 2 or a level 3 lower and restage, that's when it sucks. But uh, this is why we have to maximize resolving restage uh, for extender version. Uh, double Seeker, Triple Desire, Triple Allure, Upstart, Into the Void. I want all the draw power. Give me all the gas, bro. If I can play 30 Into the Voids, I will, without question. Uh, you need to play all the draw cards. If you, don't, if you draw a Servant... With, with four uh, Mythical Beast cards, what are you going to do? You're going to pass the turn. Uh, triple Mastery, Triple Restage, Right Hand, Instant Fusion, and Reasoning. So, this is the Turbo Draw, Turbo Endymion version. I have lots of different versions, so stay tuned to the channel. You're going to see them soon. Uh, you got Triple Sphere, Triple Lava Golem, Triple Dark Roller, Triple Double Mystic Mind. Oh, three Mystic Mind, because they're for me. One Down Wrestler, one Down Wrestler, one Reboot. Against Back Row decks, I'm, uh, you're typically, you side in these three, and you're going to have like one dead Restage. You just keep the restage. There's no other board wipe. Uh, I don't want to tw twist it. Cosmic eccentric is the only one I put in because eccentric is searchable by deck But they all don't do anything. It's just a one for one. One for one don't do anything. At that point, I'd rather more combo cards to stop any of the board wipes. So uh, one big thing that people say, trip. You're not playing hand traps. You're gonna lose the Inferno Bowl. What do you mean? So you decide in 13 cards that outright one card auto win Inferno Bowl. Draw one of draw one of these 13. It's gonna get smoke grenaded, right? Well, that's why if you're siding in 13 cards in a deck that plays 14 draw cards, no shit, you're going to fucking draw another one. So you're going to draw two or three of the auto wins. So let them smoke grenade out a lava golem because then you're going to dark lure their ass. So it's all good. You know, it's all good. And the way the deck is built is a bunch of one card, uh, two card combos. If you open Servant with any of these and then these resolve, you just win. Or, or Abductor or Mastery or Desires, you just win. Extra deck. I had a lot of trouble fitting in Instant Fusion and Millennium Eyes, but you need, like, I hate the fact that Instant Fusion is non-searchable one of in your deck, and you have to take up a whole extra deck slot for one card. But some idiots still play Droll, even though Droll's ass in the format right now. It's only good against the best deck Pendulums. 
but bad against everything else. Uh, like a competent Dragonlink player could play through Droll like it's nothing by going to Romulus first. So Droll's not even played right now. And yeah, anyways, Crowley, Crushy, Breaker, Masquerina, Unicorn, Triple Selene, Appaloosa, Saryuja, uh, Saryuja, mandatory, 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 mandatory. You're playing 10,000 extenders. You're going to have hands with no scales, a bunch of extenders, no out to Dark Ruler post side deck. You need Saryuja. I'm not even going to have it. I'm not going to listen to it. If you, I see a Pendulum deck without Saryuja, uh, a turbo pendulum deck without Saryuja, you're an idiot. Axis Code Talker, Relinquish Shine, and my Absolute Vortex Millennium. That's the deck. I hope you guys enjoy this deck profile. This is the cards. I think it's the best way to play this deck without question. Uh, if you don't think it's the best way to play pure turbo and Demian, then, well, do you uh, to ask Gordon Ramsay how to cook a steak? No. You just let him cook you a steak, you eat the delicious thing, and then listen to the pen god and play his pendulum turbo and demian deck thank you if you guys got this far make sure to smash the subscribe button also don't forget that we have an extreme sale right now one player trip electrum cloth mat for only 30 usd you will never get a cheaper cloth mat in your life i want to sell all my mats right now i have like 100 left of all my mats together so i can buy new mats i have the coolest ideas in mind that you guys are gonna love with every single cool pendulum card ever made. I want new mats, bro. I have a problem. I want to buy more mats. Anyways, also make sure to check out the Patreon where I show you guys more duels of this deck. And if you guys want 5% off your cards, go down below. And 10% off your mats, go down meta match. Get your discounts, boys. Get your discounts down below. We'll see you guys in the next video. Peace! <laughs>